Resto has begun. Front fenders have been removed. Grill, bumper, a lot of rust, but it's only fucking metal and it can be repaired. Besides, you can't tell a boy, you know, you can't repair his dream car. Patience isn't a fucking virtue of mine. But when it comes to time to play with my toy, I think I'll find it. Let's take a look inside. on this side six inches from the rocker on the other side so my toy my sweetheart Is a 445, 401, three twenty five horse, four hundred and fifty foot pounds of torque. Fucking nail heads. I'll put one in my regal too, I think. Okay. Clear shot of the tag for all my non believers. This is a flexible 1 to 7 built, and the last one left. We got a rocker, it's repaired. Bad spots underneath is a bad uh, surface lip here is probably the best looking on the car. Lower rear quarters, I believe uh, Oldsmobile sported the lower rear quarters the same as this. 1960 to 62 dynamics. Flex tag. Decent shot of my interior here. There's the seat. Amazing. Chrome trim is all nice. The seat adjustments even work. Issue on the bottom of my door. Like I said, it's all metal, can be replaced. Same on the lower rear quarter here. A lot of damage.
it's almost appalling, you know, fucking people think that grass does these things fucking a world of justice. Last windstorm damage. Blew my fucking car cover off the fucking thing and put a 150 pound piece of angle iron right up the side of my car. None of this was here before. Chipped all the paint. There's no actual surface damage under the car. But it does look like hell. Nasty. Fucking ear made me cry the day I came out and seen that. Nice chunk out of the fucking roof there. Nasty. But the drip edge crushed in a little bit. This is her. She looks rusty and rotten. But even with all the rust and the rot, it's the sexiest fucking beast I've ever seen. Original generator. I like to say original spark plug wires, but they fucking look ugly out here. Everything works. Runs good. No smoke. No noise. 81,000 miles. A lot of miles carrying dead people. Work that needs to be done here on the front. Amazing rad. You have to read that upside down because I can't turn the camera. Um, gas tank. It's a bumper. Front bumper. Grill headlights. All the chrome on this is, as you can see, it's sparkling in the camera. It's uh, beautiful. Nothing wrong. Front flexible fenders. Desert Valley Auto Parts, I guess. Um, talked to them once. Quoted me for two fenders, four hundred and fifty dollars a piece, and you got to go through a Canadian broker to get them brought to Canada, where I am. This is a driver's fender. This is probably the worst of the two fenders. It's bad, real bad. need an English wheel so anybody out there's got an English wheel for sale or just the wheels I'll make my own support stand hit me up with a message here on YouTube and let me know what you got okay uh, we'll walk up here to the fuel cell this is the fuel cell made by the flexible company put into the car as they had to relocate the other tank so big I don't know how many gallon but it's huge stainless steel check out the welds for a 1960 pretty decent This is where we got time and effort put into these cars. Here are. 
One more peek. She's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. As you can see, I love my Buicks. No nail head in that one, but I think we'll jerk the 350 out of it and find a nail head to put in it. This is her. Thanks for watching. I will post more videos as my progress carries on. Once again, thank you for taking interest in watching my video of my 1961 Buick Flexible Flex App. Mine. Still doesn't mean you can't drool, but you just can't drool on it like I do.